Otter. This is home for both players, both from New Yorkshire, both from Yorkshire, yeah. With uh, Devereux oh as wait. well, is it? No, he's not. No, Devereux's from Southwest? I wouldn't he's know, actually. He now lives in Yorkshire, I believe. Devereux sticking to the nest, and it looks like maybe Skittle doesn't like the Ness inkling matchup because he hovered over it for a second, but he's just decided to go for Bayonetta mm. once again. And as we have said, he's been getting a lot of mileage off this Bayonetta. He has. One thing I'm curious of, though, is I think lots of people in this game, not to take anything away from Skittle, but lots of people in this game don't know how to play against Bayonetta. That's it. And, I mean, I I thought early on in the game, and obviously Bayonetta has had a lot of buffs, I thought early on in the game Bayonetta was not a very good character. That's it. And when Skittle brought, uh, brought her out me in friendlies when he first started picking her up after the buffs, I was like, nah, I, I didn't expect much, you know, but he's he's been very good with her, honestly. And I think he did have experience playing on her with Smash 4. That downward angled side B is actually di difficult input to do with Bayonetta, but once you've got it down, it's so safe on shield because of how far it bounces back. See, I feel like uh, in this matchup, Bayonetta can go off an edge guard Definitely. pretty easily. Definitely. Because the thing with Ness recovery, obviously, when it's PK Thunder 2, it's not a great recovery mm. initially. But the PK Thunder 2 is very, very strong. Like, if yeah. you get hit by that, you're almost definitely dead. It's techable, but not past like 30 or 40 percent. And even that, the window is very, it's very awkward timing, so. And, but Sk with Skittle was starting this game off very well with a lead, and Devru's actually taking it here at high percent, so good job to Devru there. But, um, as saying that uh, Bayonetta can get guard pretty well, she doesn't really have to worry about the PK Thunder 2 because at the witch time. That's very true, actually. Now, I was I was more thinking if she goes off to challenge it before he's hit by the PK Thunder. Because, obviously, Bayonet can go very deep and is, is ex the exact sort of character that can go off and challenge Ness before he's hit by the PK Thunder. That's it. Which is the worst time for him to get hit. And even before, like, even without getting close to him, she can drop with uh, the neutral B to shoot the guns. That'll mess him up a little bit. Yeah. I'm not but sure neutral B is the right the right move though because of how it angles diagonally upwards she'd have to fall below Ness just to hit him with the neutral yeah. B. Yeah However, but you've seen her you've seen her recovery. That's true. But well let's get back to the game anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well like instead of the theory crafting. Yeah yeah. Uh, that was a good up smash there from mm. Dev. I don't think Skittle expected to hold it like that at ledge so he neutral got off straight into the active hitbox of the yo-yo and that's the stop gone unfortunately. <laughs> that yo-yo is so tricky. It messes, it messes quite a lot of people, yeah. it, me me included. <laughs> That's something that Devo has actually been doing a lot. We saw him in the game against Spuddles and he's just been there against the skill. He does the double forward air, which lots of Ness players would go for a third one. Mm. But he drifts back and does the PK fire on it. Hits it very well. Oh, That's unfortunate. unfortunate there from Devo and SD, but after the double forward air, the, the PK fire... I mean, one thing I've actually found very hard to challenge with Bayonetta is the hitbox on her up B is so big. If you stand at ledge, you get hit by it. And yeah. it looks like the sort of move you can two-frame, but it's slightly disjointed. Oh, that... No. Ooh. Very, oh. very well recovered yeah, there from Skittle. Didn't want to see another SD there. But yeah, it's something that looks like you can two-frame, but I think it's very slightly disjointed, so mm. you cannot stand there and go for a move that two-frames the but Using the PK fire, knowing it hits below the ledge, he's done very well edge guarding there. I just and that's unfortunate. Just up smash. Up, once again up smash. That, that yo -yo. Up smash. I think Skittle needs to go for the get up attack there because that's something that I've been getting hit a lot by against Val Vampire Bat in the past. Mm. I, I kept neutral get up into the yo yo because neutral get up is normally quite a safe option. There's only one frame of vulnerability where you can get punished. Um, but that yo-yo is an active hitbox, yeah. so it just catches you every day of the week. Yes. But if you if you if you get up attack, if you think about it, when you're on the ledge, mm. it it beats it every time. But it also stops you from even grabbing the ledge some it of the does. time. Yeah. If they hang it over the ledge, that's something that's very hard. But I think Bayonetta is one of the few characters that doesn't have to worry about that because her hitbox is on her up B clank with the yo-yo. But well, we're on to game two. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, the witch time, time early. They're going to extend that into a combo. I think that could be a lot of damage there for Skittle. And Drop here we go. Bow. He could get an early stock here. I've seen him do it before, but no. Devery manages to fall out. He's still getting a very, very big lead That's here. 90% to only 10%. Ooh, oh, nice the jab, jab lock there. Let's see how Devery manages to bring this game back, because he's a good 50% behind, but using that yo-yo again, Skittle's getting caught out by that every single time. I think he likes to drop off and use that witch twist. Uh, twist kick even to to approach, but 
It works in lots of matchups, but he needs to nail down not using that in this matchup. And I think, actually, if he uses the Witch Time here on this PK Thunder, there we go, the get him attack. That's what he needs to be doing on this yo-yo. Oh, and he... Which time does the side be? Which time very nice there. Mm -hmm. I think if he which times the PK Thunder when he's off stage, Bayonetta the sort of character where he would still have lots of time to come back because of how good the recovery is. And that which time would just slow down Ness so much that Oh And again oh, Bayonet struggles to kill off the top in this game. I'm still I've still got the Smash 4 in my blood. I was expecting I don't that have to kill. That. I don't I never played Smash 4 so Oh, which time again? Oh, that was unfortunate. That was very unfortunate. Oh, I, I was expecting something really, really cool, and it's yeah, just yeah, <laughs> just the just the death. But he, you know, he's still he's still on zero percent. Yeah, Devru's on high percent. He had the lead here, so it's a bit unfortunate he loses the stock like that. But as long as he seals this stock out soon, which he's very much looking like he's doing, he's still not been touched yet. Yeah, and if he plays he plays the last stock as he has played the rest of the game. You know, he yeah. could still very well win. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if he gets a stock soon, as I've said, he's been ahead most of the game. Mm. As long as he steals this stock out, he can continue to play neutral how he has been. And again, getting up into that yo-yo, he needs to not do oh. that. Yo-yo covers so many options at ledge. It's a very good tool, but get up attack just straight up beats it out. There he is once again. Oh, that should be and the stock. which time in it again? Only 56% on Skittle. If he can get one combo of Bayonetta, that could be the entire 56%. That's it. So we'll see what oh, he can do. Oh, and he started it. Here. Waits for his option. That was a carries very good him wait there from Skittle. This could be a oh. stock here. Oh, just very not. Nice there from, from Skittle. He's nearly land with up. the down air. Look, the up air wow. took that very early. That was around 80% there, only on the first That's platform. It? I didn't expect that. Oh, very, uh, very good from uh, Devaru to realize that that'd actually kill as well. Oh, yeah. But leave that. Yeah. Leave. My bad. Another shout out to uh, Luma because he's. He's organizing this all from home. What a what a machine. Yeah. Almost literally in this venue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's just inside the computer. <laughs> That's what he's doing, you know. He's inside all of us as well, you know. That's we it. all have a special pl place in our heart for Luma. Another fellow Joe as well. We've got two Joes on Let's comms go. and the Joe running the stream. So J This is just Joe's stream. Yeah. Stream Joe. I think Joe Joe's carry Melon, but we carry it. Definitely. Let's go Joe. Let's go Joe. Uh, I think next we've actually got Skulls versus Mr. Spuddles coming up on stream. I yeah, I believe um, that. Unless be unless we're going to the other losers quarterfinal game. Uh no, that's been on 17 minutes. Hey, we might have Honey. Yeah. Oh, that's that's oh okay. <laughs> okay. But yeah, we've got Platts and General Scales are still playing now. I'm not sure who's going to take this game, but yeah, it's even been though you for a while now. yeah, you guys can't actually see it, but it it looks pretty good. Uh, it looks pretty close so far. I mean, at the moment, Platts is currently behind, but I don't know the current score in the set. That's true. Scale sticking to his trusty duck hunt that he's been doing very well with recently after picking him up. Uh, mm -hmm. I gotta go get a train. So, oh, you, you mean? Okay. okay. Well, so, I can't wait that long. <laughs> so, Devaru actually has to be DQ'd now because he's going to get a train. Unfortunate, but it just happened. So, the winner of Honeyo and. Well, whoever wins Platts and General Scales has got a free buy into losers' final there, unfortunately. 